brand new CD, Heavy Word User, which is uh, some odds and sods and old recordings from the <laughs> 70s that he's uh, brought back to life. Yeah. Don, what are you going to sing for us next? Well, let's see here. Let's try this one. I, I've worked up a new arrangement of this. It's a very odd song. I refer to it. <coughs> yeah, you know. Uh, but some people have... Uh, well, yeah. some of your songs are odd. That's what yeah, yeah. makes you Don yeah, Sanders. Yeah, <laughs> This is... Uh, you know, we were experimenting with uh, different personas back in the 70s. Uh, and I'm, you know, I can't compare myself to David, David Bowie. Or, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to assert that I'm David Bowie or, or Lou Reed. But, uh, but you know, in... We tried different persona, you know, David uh, Bowie with his Ziggy Stardust, and uh, I remember one night going on stage at Anderson Fair, uh, actually uh, in December, right before Christmas, and wearing a Dolly Parton wig and a sequin jacket and blue jean skirt, and going on his Delta Dawn <laughs> instead of Delta <laughs> Dawn, nice. and doing uh, honky tonk women and. Uh, he thinks I still care, and so you tore down the house that night. Too, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we did. We, yeah. Now, <laughs> have you done, since you know, were so successful that night? Did you ever do it again? I, I did it one other time, but uh, Liberty Hall wanted me to like go totally that, you know, and <laughs> the I, makeup I just, and full works. Yeah, and I just, oh, I it didn't appeal to me to, to <laughs> totally take on that persona, even for even for a year or two. <laughs> right now, would your wife kill you if you did that today? No, no, she no, would. She, she would just say, yeah, oh, Don, go ahead, do yeah, you think? She'd, That's great. <laughs> right, she'd well. be embarrassed, probably. But <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. No, indeed. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll be looking for that performance. Don, what are you going to sing for us today? Anyway, that's the intro intro to this song. Okay, great. Is we'll this see one of the if songs? I can, yeah it, we'll see if I can do it. It's it's on the CD, but this is one of the ones that Rocky plays on. But I'm doing it in a real different arrangement. Sure. Bruised fruit.
Sanders live in the KPFT studio. That was great. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. you thank bet. you. You, uh, your uh, great grandfather was uh, one tough hombre, right? It, oh, it was well, a Harry, Harris County Sheriff. He was a Harris County Deputy Sheriff, and uh, yeah, I didn't know about this until uh, till one of my parents died, and I went uh, to the to settle the will, and the lawyer told me that. My great grandfather roped a bear. He was well known for having roped a bear, and I don't know any more of the story than know. that. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was very dangerous. You know, cowboys did that kind of. Uh, Trying to be okay. tough back then. Well, you know, they showed off. they showed off, <laughs> and it was very dangerous because if the, sure. if the bear uh, <laughs> if you didn't rope it exactly right, the bear could kind of come after you, grab the rope, and <laughs> right. kind of pull. Pull you in. Now, yeah. w was that the great grandfather that was from Florida? Uh, was uh, that the same guy? He, he was the he was the son of that. Okay. Yeah. That so person. he was born here in Texas. So where the heck did the bear come from? There were bears, uh, and may still be occasionally see them, but there were bears in East Texas all through okay. the the big thicket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, up until up until the early part of the twentieth century. They were still killing bears, you know, bear hunts over there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You know, I mean, if you've read Faulkner's The Bear, uh, the uh, big thicket is actually part of the same forest there that's there in, sure. in Mississippi and Alabama. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I found an article that was uh, an interview with Lyle Lovett, and in that he talked about some of his, uh, I guess, after A&M or maybe like right at the end of his A&M stint, he had a little career in journalism and interviewed Michael Martin Murphy, Nancy Griffith, Willie Nelson, uh, or Willis Allen Ramsey. Mm -hmm. But uh, you were the first guy that he ever interviewed. Right, right. He, I, my recollection is that Lyle uh, was a journalism major, uh, maybe a minor in German and uh, German language. And and yes, he interviewed me, and uh, I don't have it with me. Actually, somebody else has my scrapbook right now, but. Uh, but I think John Wilson, who produced this recording, has put, has done a PDF file of that interview and put it up on the internet. Very of, nice. Of the article that Lyle did in the Battalion. <laughs> That's which great. The Battalion is the uh, A&M uh, newspaper. Sure. And, you know, also in that article, Lyle Lovett said that uh, you were a big influence on him. Yeah, I think I taught Lyle everything not to do. <laughs> I think that's what Lyle learned from me, probably. Did you meet him for the first time over at Anderson Fair? I think so. Okay. I think that's where I first met him. Uh, probably, so. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's uh, pieces of that history on the film uh, for the sake of the song. Right, he's right, in which it, is a really, well. really sweet movie, yeah. And people can buy that can buy a DVD copy and if they do it's just wonderful because it helps pay for for the DVD mm -hmm. for the movie being made and and it actually I might get a nickel in royalties <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's fantastic it's a great film and it is the history of Anderson Fair and uh, Lyle Lovett yourself uh, Nancy Griffith um, everybody every, everybody's everybody in it. everybody's mm -hmm. in it and there's some great uh, old footage of you guys playing over there and, Lucinda uh, Shake uh, who else? Eric Jack Taylor. Elliott, uh, Eric Taylor. Taylor. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Some great stuff. We have uh, Don Sanders live in the KPFT studios, and uh, you went in front of city council not too long ago and sang them a song. Yes. You know, I, I, we were right up to the deadline of the end of 
of trying to influence city council to approve uh, the last three historic districts that, okay. that were up for approval, uh, Heights East, Woodland Heights, and Glenbrook Valley. And I thought, you know, I've done the, I've sung in front of city council before, back, back in the 70s. Uh, I went before city council in, uh, in opposition to drilling for oil in Herman Park, our Memorial Park, which had been proposed. And, <laughs> Wow. And we managed to uh, prevent that. So I thought, I'm going to write a song. So I, I sat down and, you know, decided to uh, try to write a song and had to abandon the first couple of efforts. But, <laughs> but came up with the song and, and went before city council, I guess, uh, what, two weeks ago? And sang it. And uh, it's interesting, you know, city council to see city council kind of go from stone face to smiling Listen and tapping their feet <laughs> yeah and, and it wore, it seemed to uh, seem to please people uh, somebody posted a, a note on uh, this website called swamp lot which is uh, 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 concerns Houston real estate but but not just from a real estate point of view or a sales point of view somebody posted a picture of me at city council and the caption was when this guy stood up stood up with guitar my crackpot alarm went off, <laughs> but big surprise, talented and witty. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it was very sweet. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you going to perform that song for us? Well, no. I, okay. I, I brought the words and, and might try it in a moment, but I, I think I, we don't want to talk them to death. But, but w we were successful. Uh, they did approve those uh, districts, which is great. Okay. Yeah. All right, you are going to do another one for us, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready for that yeah, now? Yeah, sure. Huh?